Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope everyone's having a great week. Um, it is the weekend, well, almost. Um, it is for me. <laughs> um, I just wanted to share a couple things with you guys. Um, really exciting stuff and I always, again, I try and keep it as real as possible. Um, but I started my job actually this week. Um, as some of you know, I haven't been working the last couple years um, from Lyme disease. Um, it really, it took its toll on my life. I lost everything. I couldn't work. I couldn't even walk upstairs. I had to have my husband carry me. I was so sick. I was, you know, in double digits for my weight and I'm five seven, so that's not healthy at all. Um, I really, I lost a lot in my life. Um, and it really, it's been really hard. And, you know, I've gone through therapy, I pee, I've been doing everything that I feel like I really should be doing to get myself back on track. And so, you know, going back to work, I'm working at my old company. Um, they brought me back and I'm just so excited. I really appreciate them believing in me and basically taking a chance on me um, as I'm in recovery. So it's been amazing. I am exhausted. Um, as you can see, no makeup and Carhartt. <laughs> um, but it's really good. It's so nice to feel a sense of normalcy because it's something I haven't really had um, in a long time. And, you know, I really wanted to share this with you guys because coming soon, I uh, was interviewed by Tick Boot Camp and I shared my whole story with Lyme disease. Um, it's pretty brutal and I did get a little emotional because it brought back a lot of old feelings that I had forgotten, you know, feelings of inadequacy and just not and just not feeling enough and not knowing where my life was going to go or even if I was, to be honest, there was a point where I didn't know if I was going to make it. Um, I was, I was that sick and, you know, true story, my husband and my mom, um, found me unconscious and I was out of it for hours and they, um, they thought I was, I was dead and I don't wish that on anybody. I know it's hard for me, but I can't imagine going through that with your child, with your wife, with your, you know, your spouse, your significant other, I just can't imagine. So the support I've had for my family, for my husband, it's been absolutely incredible. And I honestly couldn't do it without them. Um, so a little tip, and again, I'll, I'll get a little bit into what I talk about in the video or in the podcast, but, you know, I explain how my relationships have changed, how friendships have fallen off and, and some have actually gotten um, I'm t I talk about support systems and how important they are, but also how important it is for us, people who are chronically ill, to explain to our support system how to help us. Because a lot of times, you know, they don't know what to do. And we get frustrated with people saying, oh, you know, you look so great. You can't be that sick. And, it, you know, they're trying to compliment you. But that's one of the worst things you can say to somebody who's sick because it's it's like you're taking away their validation. Um so I talk a lot about that and so how you can be a better support to someone you might know who is ill or if you're ill, maybe you can relate to my story. So I really wanted to share that and I'm so excited. The podcast is coming soon. So to see the podcast, uh, follow Tick Bootcamp. I will also put a link to their site so you can look at other podcasts and view mine when it's, when it's up and ready. So again, I'm so excited. to share my life and my journey with you and again I hope at least maybe it helps one person not feel so alone or somebody who is looking to um, help somebody who is chronically ill maybe this can give you some support some answers or if you guys have any questions you can always 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 reach out to me um, that's what I'm here for so I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for listening. And I can't wait for the podcast to come out. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Bye.